so far we've only taken a look at sketching on our grid planes. So for example, sketching here would draw a circle on my top plane. But we also have the ability to sketch not only on my grids, but to also sketch on any flat surface. So, for example, if I wanted to create some holes in my bracket here, I could actually draw right on top of any of these flat surfaces. So I could draw a circle here. And notice now that that circle was actually drawn on the top of my bracket. Similarly, I could draw something here or here. And notice it's drawn directly on those flat surfaces. Again, so you have the ability to draw within a 3D view, but I usually like to draw orthogonal to a specific face or view. So if I want to draw directly on, say, this top face here, what I can do is go back to that shortcut where just a double tap on that face jumps me straight into that orthogonal view of the face. And now I'm drawing on that top face I just have a, a better look at it. And I can draw a circle, something like this. And I'll actually do the same on my other two circles as well. Now, I'd like to fine tune this and finish them off with some constraints and dimensions. So I'd like this circle and this circle to be concentric. Same with this circle and this circle, concentric, and this circle and this circle to be concentric as well. Now I've thrown in all my constraints and I can just finish off with some dimensions. I want my larger hole cutout to be 15 millimeter radius and maybe my smaller hole cutout to be 5 millimeter radius. And I want my other small circle to always be equal. So I'll just grab both and say equal constraint. Now again, I'd like to maybe cut a hole in this case. So any 3D design, I want to first rotate into more of a, a 3D view now that I've finished off this sketch. And again, maybe I'll just tap and select all three of these at once, or I could of course do one at a time. And now, just the same, pull in either direction. You'll notice if I pull up, that will extrude or create material. But if I pull in the other direction, that's actually going to cut material away. So in this case, I'm actually looking to cut so I'll just cut all the way through. I could give an exact value or I could just cut all the way through. And finish that off. And now we can see my bracket design is really starting to form its general shape. In the next few lessons, we will continue on with this design and finish off our bracket.